There's over 195 countries represented here, and they're trying to thrash out this agreement, uh, get this rule book on how they're going to implement Paris 2015. Now, I'm joined by environmental activist Philip McMaster. Now, Philip, what are your expectations of this conference? Well, my expectations for COP24 are high, but not that high, because Sustainer Clause, this is the action I, I take. Sustainer Clause, not Santa Claus? Not Santa Claus. Santa Claus is the Coca-Cola and, you know, Eden McDonald's thing. Sustainer Clause is about, ho, 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 Merry Xmas, X out the things you don't need this holiday season. And LCP, the low-carbon panda, he's the, he's the one that's going to help us make the world a better place, especially for the children. You said your expectations are high, but not that high. Are you, are you reserved to the fact that global warming is going to happen, that climate change, we, we can't stop it? Well, there's no dispute about global warming and climate change. There's no question about this. The question is, what are we doing about it? And what are we doing about it right now? Right now, the problem is we're we're not operating in co in our conscience, the republic of conscience. We're not operating there. We're operating on the money and the and the and the, and the prestige of, of our old society. So what we need to do is listen to sustain a clause. And there are many sustain a clauses, by the way. You're a sustain a clause as well. When we become caring about our immediate children then we become part of the solution and solving the SDGs. This conference uh, is being held in Poland. 80% of the electricity in this country is produced from coal. Uh, this city is home to one of the largest coal companies in Europe. And this conference is sponsored by two coal companies. Um, as a delegate, as someone that's attending this conference, how do you feel about that? Well, I mean, look, we live in the real world. And the real world has got people who are operating from jobs and CEO positions. The challenge is, are they operating from their conscience? If they're just keeping the coal factories going so that they make money, but their children are dying of emphysema, and also as the future narrows down, they're actually ruining the future of their children. So that's what Sustainer Clause is trying to remind people about, is how do we focus on what's really important in our lives? And CEOs have children too. You have some action plans. What, what, what is your message? Well, our action plan, not only here at COP24, but our action plan is for everyone around the world every Wednesday. Every Wednesday, we ask you to do three things, just like the panda shows here. Three things are, one, smile and make other people happy. When you make other people happy, how do you feel? Pretty good. Okay, so the, you're normal. That's great. So number one, smile and make other people happy. Number two is change. Change something about who? Can I change you? Say no. You can't change other people, right? You can only change yourself. So stop a bad habit and start a good habit. And the third one is unplug. Unplug your stuff around your home. That's kinesthetic learning. It's, it's just be aware that you've got too much stuff and you're not using it all. So let's stop doing that and let's, for the third thing, turn off your phone, your cell phone, every Wednesday evening from 6 to 9, let's say, and talk to your family and your friends face to face. Be part of the solution. Do a personal action in your personal life that will affect the coal companies. So there you have it. Um, some people very optimistic, others not so much, but uh, this conference is going on for the next two weeks where they're going to try to get that rule book and get countries uh, to commit to stopping global warming, to have those temperatures rising above two degrees Celsius.